Welcome back to MC Lounge, everybody. I'm Antonio. I'm Delaney. I'm Chandler. I'm Will. I'm Jesse. I'm Shanice. I'm Rodney. And, and this, this is MC Lounge. Lounge. As you can see, guys, we're back, and this time we have a, a large amount of people <laughs> in the uh, host position and whatnot. But I just wanted to know how everyone is doing out there. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the weather's pretty bad, so I mean, you can find that as an excuse. But um, I want to jump right into it. So let's get into the whole Bill Clinton thing. Has anybody seen the speech? Yes, I did. It was pretty nice. Um, he was at the HRC dinner, which is the human rights campaign. They do stuff for, I mean, mostly LGBT community type organizations and events, but really all across the board. And he mostly talked about how, like, when he was president, he first went to the HRC dinner back in, like, 97. And there was only maybe a handful of people that when he asked, they're like, any uh, um, LGBT people in my, you know, organization stand up, and there's maybe like five or six. Mind you, this is like '97, and uh, you and 2014, he admired like how far they had gotten, and um, he went to a class reunion, um, like a 50th year class reunion. It's crazy if you can think of like us going to a 50 year class <laughs> reunion <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. um, he had a couple friends of his that he knew like kind of like understood they were kind of like a couple for years but they were only able to like just now like oh hey this is you know me and my partner and so mm-hmm. he was just admiring a lot of like progress but then also some um, stuff that still needs to be worked on like in Uganda the anti-gay law right there and um, kind of just mentioned how it was a world effort to make it all just more of an equal playing ground for everyone. Mm-hmm. So, mm. one, one thing that I was noticing was uh, the fact that Elton John was there. He actually mm-hmm. played, you know, uh, awesome. you know, and uh, afterwards Bill Clinton, such a humble guy, came out and said, "Man, it was an honor to actually meet the Elton John." You know, it was pretty awesome, you know, considering that he was a past mm-hmm. president, to put himself in those kind of humble shoes and you know, refer to Elton John as somebody that he wants to meet. Yeah. And uh, Elton John, uh, him and his partner, David Furnish. Yeah, David <laughs> Furnish, <laughs> yes. Uh, they won an award, the National Equality uh, Honor or something like that. So that was pretty cool. And uh, Elton John decided to donate $7 million. Wow. wow. $7 million <laughs> to the, uh, wow. in, a par- in a partnership with the U.S. government to uh, create a f- age-free society. Wow. And the uh, efforts go over to those who are gay and transgender in, in Africa, which is really good if you ask me. So mm-hmm. that is really good. Yeah. It wow. was it was to me an amazing speech and all of which was amazing. Considering the fact that it was midterm election and he was, you know, trying to push forward with uh, Hillary Clinton and stuff. So that was really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's awesome how far uh, the support with the LGBT community has come in the past even ten years. It's crazy the progress we've made as a country and as a world. For sure. He said, like, back when he couldn't imagine back when he was president, he was trying to get a handful of states just to, like, legalize same-sex marriage and to have, like, how different states can reap all the benefits and everything. Just think about, you see, like, just in the way some of them dress nowadays and think about how the weddings, like, how much money wedding planners and, like, all that would go into it. Um... And it really is a revenue for you know, taxes. Like, there's multiple ways why it's just like, why is this still? And he admired how, you know, now there's 32 states and D.C. that are it's the same playing field for everyone. So. One thing in particular that he went on was talking about his secretary assistant or something like that, one of which who was uh, lesbian. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it was a good thing that he was talking about it and, like, saying that we need more people like her in mm-hmm. those leadership positions and whatnot. So for sure. That was really good representing LGBT. And going on to our next topic, we're going to talk about some girls sneaking, leaving America to try to go and sneak to become ISIS, to be a part of ISIS. Yeah, join ISIS. Whew, what did you guys hear about that? That's crazy. Well, they were high school. Yeah. Yeah, they were like 16. They were 16. It was like a friend. It was a girl, her friend, and her friend's sister. 16 and like 15 years old, they took their passports, they loaded the planes with $2,000. The only way the dad even knew anything about it, one of the dads, was because the school called saying that his daughter didn't go to school. He calls his daughter, she answers, and he's like, where are you? And she's like, yeah, I'm just running late. He's like, okay. (laughs) 
And then like the other the other girl's uh, dad, he gets a phone call and he calls his daughter and she's like, yeah, we're just going to the library. So, I mean, they end up sneaking off. Somehow they like someone calls the dad and is like, check to see if their passports are gone. He does that. It's gone. They contact the FBI, but it's just crazy. Crazy it's just crazy. Like Germany or something. Yeah. yeah. From a library they're going to, to Germany. Germany. And I feel like they did that at 16. At 16, I didn't even know how to order pizza over the phone. Right. <laughs> I didn't even have a passport at 16. Yeah, or much know how less. to get to another yeah, country. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Playing out this whole entire and then still <laughs> thousands of my parents' dollars. Like, <laughs> it was like 2000. It was 2000. Yeah. Like, how did they come about? They stole yeah. it from oh, their yeah. parents. Yeah. They just took it. From their parents, they took the money from their parents, their passport from their parents. I still don't even know how to steal thousands of thousands dollars. Thousands of dollars, dollars. Yeah. without them knowing <laughs> exactly. at that. Like, what do so your like parents at do? 16, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, at 16, it's like, how was, were they coming chilling, up with this plan? Like, There's like a serious well, lack money. of communication. I mean, they got as far as Germany. So, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, that's, 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 I wouldn't have gotten barely out of Tennessee. I would have the airport probably. Right, really. That's just crazy. Supposedly, like, they were, like, talked into it from, like, a social media standpoint, mm -hmm. saying that they were going to be compared to, like, Disney princesses. Like, mm -hmm. like what? Yeah, they How? Like, they yeah, had. no, and they apparently that's what they, um, the couple other situations where they've had, like, Americans, American youth go over and do the ISIS, they're recruiting through social media, which, if they know so much about our Western world, they should know that, like, people that can track that <laughs> and right. like yeah. you can't Crazy. just go up and be like oh hey what's up my name's <laughs> <Phillip, laughs> right. join isis <laughs> let's go join isis i mean there were like there were just three girls but i read like a report that said there, there was over like a hundred people yeah. from the united states who actually left the united states to, to go and join mm -hmm. isis yeah so i mean really and truly it's not really a you know it, it's a serious thing but the thing is the numbers are growing they're coming from europe they're coming from africa yeah. All to join ISIS. That's Did the scary. judge get charged or anything? It is, but it's no, they um, just got processed and questioned. And I mean, sent home. They were, yeah, I think because they were still minors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. If I was a parent, I'd be like, you're grounded. No tweeting. No, no, That's just no. crazy. Oh. That just <laughs> shows how sneaky girls are, though. Like, also. It's like like another girl. level. I mean, yeah, it's another level, girls. but yeah. hey. Like, Plus, I mean, if watch they were your so bag. <laughs> <laughs> if they were so knowledgeable to, like, do all this and figure out how to do the passport and everything. I wonder if they knew how a lot of the Muslim culture is still towards women in the yeah, like over I there. Know. I didn't even think about They're that. They're not really exactly for, you know, all like right. a Hillary Clinton walking over there and like, yeah. <laughs> speaking, like speaking their mind. Like I don't know what they expected going into it. Yeah. And how far they would be it's a dangerous. part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's just dangerous. Like. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they were just going about, you know, trying to follow up on something that they found on social media and whatnot. And like she said, felt like they were going to be princesses. And yeah. Now women want to be treated as princesses. <laughs> so. <laughs> but I mean, going on to our next topic, there was a school shooting in Washington. Ah, very tragic, yeah. very tragic. And I wanted to know if any of you heard about it. No? Well, there was a 15-year-old who reportedly was in a relationship and it didn't last. So the thing was, he decided, well, you guys explain it, because it was kind of different from my point of perspective. What do you think? Basically, he was a troubled teen, of course, um, and he was in a relationship with a girl who was, I believe, either 14 or 15, and she broke up with him. Oh, he was heartbroken. She ended up dating his one of his cousins, and mm. I don't know about you guys, but when I had a relationship that age, I was upset about it, but <laughs> this is a whole different yeah. level of yeah. Yeah. upset. Yeah. Like he took it upon himself to bring a gun to school and shoot the two of his cousins, the ex-girlfriend, and then I believe another um, student, and he ended up killing the ex and one of his cousins, who died later in the hospital, But and then after, he killed himself. So, I know it's ju it just goes back to the troubled, you know, 14, 15 year olds, you don't ever know what is really going on in these kids' minds and, you know, what they're really dealing with. It's just, it's mind blowing mm -hmm. that he That's even crazy. had the idea to go to the school yeah. and mm -hmm. shoot these kids and, you know, kill them it's, and mm -hmm. kill himself, yeah. you know. 
it's just mind blowing. A lot of people said uh, the friends and whatnot said that he was a happy guy. Yeah, one I of the popular students. Yeah, he had just won the wow. homecoming Coming prince. Wow. You know, he yeah. was a popular really? kid in school. It wasn't like he was, you know, bullied, some troubled yeah. kid who was like picked <laughs> on. No, he was popular. People liked him. There was, if you look on Twitter, there was uh, tons of tweets from yeah. students who were upset that he was gone, even though after what he did, they were still, you know, oh, we're going to miss him and mm -hmm. this, this, and that. And it's just like, wow. I mean, speaking of Twitter, yeah. when he was uh, tweeting stuff, a lot of people really didn't notice, but he was kind of giving off a lot of hints. Oh, yeah. yeah. Different vibes. Yeah. Like yeah. So, I mean, saying like stuff like it won't last, speaking of the relationship and whatnot, and saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I mean, stuff like that, I feel like should be addressed. Yeah. Right. You know? I think somebody, somebody needs to be. You know, where would a 15 year old get a gun? True. I mean, parents. My Oh, it Somebody was a gift. A fifteen year old. Wow. Gun. But it's just crazy mm -hmm. because like from his 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 point of view, he was in love. Like he was heartbroken. Right. Like he was in love. Like the world was gonna end. But if you look at all of us, go back to high school, like oh, our first breakup. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know. That was horrible. I was gonna die. But okay. looking back on it no. now, it's it's yeah. it's sad that he wasted his life on something yeah. that would be like yeah. a distant memory like yeah. years yeah, right. not even 10 years from now it would yeah. have been nothing to him it's just really sad it yeah. just yeah. makes me think about how many parents you know should pay more attention yeah, mm -hmm. that to too. their kids even social media i remember when i was in high school i used to get so annoyed because my dad would always want to check my twitter or my facebook or myspace mm -hmm. or whatever and i'd be like mm -hmm. oh my gosh you're invading my space but you know you don't realize how important it is because his parents probably didn't see yeah. any of yeah, those tweets that he was didn't. tweeting. You know, he was using all kinds of language, you know, it, stuff that he would get in so much trouble for and that if anybody would have just looked at it, any adult figure would have looked at it, they would have caught it and they would have mm -hmm. been like, look, let's talk about this. If you are upset, you know, let's get through this. Let's talk about it. You know, this is going to be your first breakup out of many, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. let's not. But yeah. it just is sad that nobody um, could reach out to him and talk to him about it and get him past that, that he had to go to those extremes. And yeah. with the shooting, a lot of people were saying, well, they realized that he didn't shoot anybody by accident. Everybody yeah. that he shot was people that he wanted to be yeah. shot. For a purpose. Exactly. Yeah. He actually forgot to say he sent a text mm -hmm. to them beforehand telling them all to sit at the same table. To sit at table. the same table. Exactly. So he planned it all out. And mm -hmm. if I remember it was one of the teachers actually interfered and came in and grabbed his hand, and that's when he shot himself mm -hmm. at the scene but she you know tried to be who knows he could have shot you know yeah. more people or yeah. done more done yeah. even more damage so it's just you know mm -hmm. it's it's crazy. Scary. Really speaking of something that was kind of a planned act of just nonsense did anyone hear about um the papa john's employee that passed away oh yeah that was a close friend of yours right yeah he was um he was actually one of my best friends um we didn't know that he went over to that location to work. We all thought he was still working back in Franklin. And um, turns out it was a 17-year-old kid. And he, um, him and the second guy who they luckily found the second person who was in contact and part of the whole robbery um, last Monday um, said he had went in there. He told when he was arrested, he went in there and said, I went in there to kill. And I went in there to get, quote, my money. And it was just like a Monday night. It was not even like $300 mm -hmm. or something. And, um, yeah, and at the funeral that was on Saturday, the um, at the CEO, I think his name is um, John Schmieder? Mm -hmm. Papa John. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John. The Papa. Papa John. Um, yeah, no, he was there, and um, he's offered to get all of the funeral and medical my that's friend that's and yeah. um it was just i mean yeah it was kind of it's been like just a sad surreal week but it's also a week of just kind of like more celebrating his life mm -hmm. he was a person that just loved life and while yeah it's just shocking it's also a thing of you know an act of violence can also and show an embrace of how much a life is really worth Mm -hmm. Because all this week, we all have been, me and my friends, just astounded at how many people he would touch. And so violence really is not an excuse to, I mean, think about it, $300 compared yeah. Yeah. to a life. Right. Speaking of things that are inex inexcusable, 
Walmart decided to release a fat girl category yeah. in their uh, clothing supply as far as like Halloween costumes and stuff. Did anybody hear about that? Well, reportedly, a lot of the images that they had were plus size images. And in it, it said plus size, you know, costumes and stuff like this for certain women. But the thing was, a lot of the women, you know, felt offensive about it. Yeah. I mean, I, what do you guys think about it? I mean, there's been at least, I mean, obviously, I'm not like full cross off women's clothes, but there are a lot of, um, I've noticed, especially in the past like 10 years with fashion, mm -hmm. there's been more of an embrace for like all the sizes. But it, when I looked on, and this was before they took it down, it was under a thing that said, quote, I, I mean, I think wording-wise, there's a lot, something that's, that's definitely off there, so. And we will talk about My uncle called, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He called everyone. He even called my daughter, Tierra, because, you know, she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. Time loss is brain loss. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Absolutely. How do I change the ringtone? Just hook it up to your computer. Does it have a camera? What's the warranty? Does it come in silver? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Does it have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack? You sell a lot of these? It's the one I carry. You ever get those phantom vibrations in your pocket? Any questions? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov. Three out of four kids are not as secure as they should be because their car seats are not used correctly. But the latch system makes it easier to get it right and to hold your kids tight. Anchor, tether, latch. Learn more at safercar.gov. Thanks. You believe this guy? Are you trying to start a wildfire? Sorry. Pass the honey. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Welcome back to MT Lounge, guys. When we left, we were talking about the uh, fat girl category mm -hmm. in Walmart. And one thing that I was noticing, I just really wanted to say, Jesse, I love your little costume you got going on. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah, John's yeah. big on Halloween. I love it. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, it's Will, I think you were talking and whatnot about, you know, how people would feel about the uh, fat girl category. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, I was putting my mindset in, like, if I was a female shopping on Target, or, sorry, on Target, Walmart.com, don't need to mess it up. Um, I would feel differently because of, it just with the wording, because there's a difference between calling something plus size mm -hmm. and saying fat girl costume. I yeah. think it's just like a, a level of respect. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, we, it's 2014. Like, there's no reason to be like, fat girl section right here. Like, <laughs> I know. Uh, I think you okay. need to go to the fat girl so. section. Well, like, yeah. Hey, girls, y'all can stay over there. I'm going to go to the fat girl section. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, but really, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering, really who did they let use their computer, like, to put that in there? <laughs> right. well, I'm like, I feel right. They tried to put it off like uh. we were hacked, maybe. But it's like, who would literally take the time out of their day to hack under Walmart's yeah. website? and change a category to fat. Like, nobody has that much time <laughs> to, <laughs> to do that. Especially <laughs> when their CEO is a female, too. Exactly. Like, how do you just mm -hmm. not look over that? Oh, I was asleep for 15 minutes, and someone <laughs> hacked our computers. Yeah. I mean, they sent out a lot of apologies yeah. and stuff to the people who were offended. So, right. I mean, yeah. that was a step. But one thing that I was thinking, I saw this comment. It was freaking hilarious to me. <laughs> this guy said, um, so uh, what about the fat guy's Halloween costume? <laughs> 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 He's like, so, so, so you're going to be sexist like that? <laughs> <laughs> As a fat, fat guy, it was pretty funny to me when he said that. So it was, it was great. They're not only rude, but sexist. So do you guys think that if it did say fat guys instead of fat girls, 
that there would be any kind of controversy over it? Mm. It would still be rude. I think it's it it still, yeah, still yeah. regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Still just still, rude. Just the fact that it's just fat and thing is just kind of like, <laughs> okay. like There's no skinny girl like costume. You no, know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just okay. regular it's just woman. It's like yeah. women, yeah. you know, plus size, whatever. You know, mm. there's not, it's just crossing the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, things should just stop at um, size, right? Instead of just labeling it a certain thing. Yeah. So I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you should have its own category. Just yeah. make different sizes of the costume. Right. right. Like everyone yeah. knows their size. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like fat people right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Oh, yeah. This is not yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. But one thing that I uh, wanted to do was um, ask, you know, going on to the next topic, was talk about the Cardinals player who was killed in a car accident. That's Twenty-two so year old Oscar Tavares. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. Eighteen year old girlfriend. Yeah, eighteen year old girlfriend in the passenger seat and whatnot. So I mean, what do you guys think about that heartbreaking story? Though? That's well, so sad. He was in the uh, Dominican Republic when mm-hmm. it happened. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, he wasn't playing at the time, but the Cardinals, he got drafted there about last year in November, and he was, like, one of the up-and-coming stars in the MLB. So it's really tragic. Uh, the Cardinals even labeled him as uh, the s- one of the centerpieces for yeah. that team. Wow. So, I mean, considering the fact that they lost this guy, a lot of teammates heartbroken, a lot of people who, uh, you know, were raised with this guy. It's a whole lot of controversy going on about, you know, how he died and stuff. And it's really a sad story. 22 years old. That's yeah, it's crazy. Really mm-hmm. yeah. It's very yeah. young. His yeah. life pretty much is right. just starting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it's sad. very true. And he just recently made his debut. A really talented kid. Knocked a home run in his first game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's, that's really good. Mm-hmm. And if anything, went forward to play and uh, made a uh, – it was a very deciding home run he made one th- in the game against the Giants. Mm-hmm. So that was really good, too. I mean, this is a guy who p- had a factor in this team and whatnot. And, I mean, to die in a, you know, tragic car crash like this, I mean, my heart's and prayers go out to the family. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. But uh, next going on, we're going to talk about the cancellation of the Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> <show>. <laughs> and I could talk about this all day. Oh, this is <laughs> hilarious. So this much stuff. Hilarious. Really? <laughs> Honey Boo Boo was such a good show, though. It was. It was weird. I didn't like it. But it was it. so addicting. It, like, it was like the craziest show, but it's like you couldn't <laughs> help but watch it. I feel it like it's, so crazy. Yeah, it's not real life to me. I can't imagine people, like, imagine seeing that family walk down the street or, like, <laughs> sitting <laughs> next to them at a restaurant. Like, Right. Yeah, but it's, like it's nasty. Did <laughs> how did they get canceled? Did she finally turn into a stick of butter, or like <laughs> bacon, or like? Wow. Because I just remember <laughs> like all it was was just they all talked about food, <laughs> and then she all was like, "Honey, boo boo, chat." I, I felt like some of the producers were feeding her those one-liners. Like she could not have come up with those on her own. Well, one reason so. that um, TLC decided to cancel the show was because Mama June reportedly. Went back to, uh, I believe, her ex, who mm-hmm. was a child molester. Child molester. And actually yeah. molested her, her oldest, oldest daughter. daughter. Exactly. What? Someone yeah. related to Mama June. Didn't they get married in, like, one of the last episodes? Or maybe it was the last one le- episode Sugar I saw. Bear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Sugar, Sugar Bear, Sugar Andre Bear. in the forest somewhere, like, yeah, growling. Yeah, 53 it? years old. Mm-hmm. A 53-year-old molesting an 8-year-old. So wow. TLC decided, they said, we're looking out for the uh, best interest of the children right. and mm-hmm. the child safety. You know? Yeah. So yeah. Something like that was uh, something that they feel like they needed to implement to, you know, just ensure child safety. Well, That's she right. keeps, Mama That's June good. keeps saying that she's not dating him, but that all these pictures were together, and then one that everyone was really freaking out about was he had a picture where he was actually with Honey Boo Boo, mm-hmm. and they were like, oh my gosh, why is this child molester with Honey Boo you know? So it's like if y'all aren't, why is he even around these yeah. kids, you know? And the oldest daughter who he actually molested, she's the one with the baby. And she doesn't want her baby around mm-hmm. Mama June or anything while she's still dealing with this guy. So it's like, if you're not dating him, then why is all this stuff yeah. happening? You know, yeah. why does your yeah. daughter not want you to be around your grandchild? What? You know, it's just a lot of questions and a lot of. Is the child that man? Is it? The, oh my God. No, it's I like, she <laughs> it's some so. guy her <laughs> age. I don't uh, really that'd know. That'd be really but tragic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just really question Mama June's parenting skills. Yeah, well, they said she didn't even believe her daughter when. Told her that yeah. that's usually how Wasn't it happens he anyway. Yeah. So in prison so. for doing that. Yeah, yes. he was. He, right. Yeah, he, he was in for multiple charges that had to do with child. But one of the charges was the one with her daughter, and it's just sickening that she would even, as soon as he's released, ooh, let's mm-hmm. get back together. Yeah. Like you were in jail for molesting. And in a way, like if TLC would have kept the show on, it kind of wasn't like they were condoning it. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That is good on TLC's part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not okay. Yeah. 
and they were talking about how, well, one thing that I was thinking was um, Rich Dollars. This guy named Rich Dollars, you know, loving hip hop star yeah. and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say this because the Honey Boo Boo <laughs> thing was funny to me too. The fact that this guy <laughs> got arrested, well, not arrested, yeah, he was arrested and whatnot for um, $11,000 in child support at a Five Guys. They said that was one of the most expensive <laughs> cheeseburgers of his life. <laughs> 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 they pulled him over for a ticket and found out that this guy had an arrest warrant. That wow. <laughs> it's crazy. They said they arrested this guy with cheeseburger in hand. <laughs> like, oh, he was, I don't think he let go of the cheeseburger. <laughs> I would finish the cheeseburger. One bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five guys is good, though, if you ask me. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Oh, oh man. But uh, going on to the next story. Let's see, uh, Britney Spears. Oh my gosh. Britney hey. Spears is getting her own day. Yeah, right? I heard about that. Bay day. That's Bay crazy. Day. Bay day. They did not love Britney Spears. So. I know, she was everything. I, I still <laughs> love her. I still everything. love her. So, isn't it like the Caesar Palace in Las Vegas mm -hmm. where yeah. she does her show? Yeah. yeah. It's not a national, yeah. Yeah, apparently. Just in Vegas. Only in Vegas. And apparently, if you can prove that your name to her concert yeah. and yes. I'm like yeah. seriously like what let me like, yeah let me change my birth certificate name. real quick yeah. I can go see Britney Spears like one, one thing that I was thinking a lot of girls spell their name as Britney with two T's you know like are they looking for one T or yeah it has to be spelled the same like Britney's name I know so <laughs> exactly <laughs> like never mind Britney <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but I mean it's funny you know that breakdown was like seven years ago as of now, it, it seems as though she's, you know, turn around, trying to make mm -hmm. things, you know, go for the better. So, I mean, and obviously, a lot of people like Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. But still Britney. Like she's I know, still she's iconic. She's Britney. Mm -hmm. exactly. And she's doing good. Just be work. Exactly. Like, you know, <laughs> whatever she's been through, it's just like, you know, she's Britney. You can't I mean, really say anything about it. But like even with home. that, even with that, what childhood star doesn't have a breakdown? Exactly. Like, it's very exactly. rare exactly. that they There's know. So like, many. she had it. She came through it. She's back. Like it's Britney. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. one of the only ones. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. it's Britney, y'all. Yeah. Trend it on Twitter. Twitter. It's Britney. Bye. Drop the mic. Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to say. Uh, one thing that I was noticing, I wanted to know if uh, any of any other people in the audience wanted anything to say. You got something to say? I'm gonna bring the uh, mic to you, my man. I just asked him. Just <laughs> I, saw him. I saw you were kind of interested. You tried. It's he all said, right. He said, can I say something? <laughs> That's what he said. So, I mean, hey. <laughs> At least you tried. But I mean, jumping on to the next topic, speaking of Britney Spears, um, as a singer and whatnot, Taylor Swift has decided to, you know, release her new album, mm -hmm. 1989. Oh, yeah. So uh, any one of you guys, you know, ready to go out and get that? I never yeah. thought no, in a million me. years I would say I was kind of a T-Swift fan, but. <laughs> her shake it off song. It gets True. stuck in my head all day. I love it. Well, I don't I love it. the video. It's so catchy. I love it. And she's transferred over know, into more of this pop artist. Like yeah. She was so much more country. country. Now she's like this pop. And I love it. I think she's like, but it's just the epidemic of everybody like freaking out and leaving class, leaving school early to go get her album. It's like, okay. Wait, that's an epidemic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People like going out to Best Buy, they skipping, skipping Skip school for, for yeah, to oh get yeah. her 1989 album? Oh yeah. Do they not know <laughs> iTunes is on their phone? Right. They can yeah. just yeah. like <laughs> sit on their <laughs> phone in class and buy it. And, and then connect to the Wi-Fi. Like people and are crying because the stores are sold out. and like It's, it's, it's the like internet, y'all. Yeah. There's a thing called the internet. But it's a lot of younger people who got to ask their parents before they buy an album on their dad's credit right. card and stuff like that. So, I mean, they're skipping right. school. Can I get your credit Be card number? <laughs> <laughs> this album is out, Dad. I gotta get it. <laughs> These are these little kids skipping school. <laughs> and their parents are taking them. Like, they're like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I understand math Taylor is important, Swift. but Taylor Swift. Okay, 1989. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back right after these commercial breaks. <laughs> What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. 
Yes, ready, ready. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. You were the last to be born in a family of seven brothers. That's why you had to sleep on the seventh bunk bed and you developed vertigo. And that's why you couldn't become a pilot and you had to study engineering. You patented 367 inventions, but only three made it to market. The clap clap candle, the lazy runners, and the frit and go. That's why you don't have an apartment on the 16th floor, and you have it on the 5th. But that's where you met Carmen. After 237 dates, you finally proposed. With her, you had three children. The fourth ended up being a dog. It's not the same, but he adores you. Numbers change your life. That's why you should take control of your credit score by keeping your credit card balances low. For more tips, visit numberschangeyourlife.org. The haunted houses and like McKinley Manor going on. That's in what, California? In San Diego. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you heard about it? Oh, I've heard about it, watched videos, everything. And I personally would not go to it, but for all of you people who love like haunted houses and like saw movies and thriller movies, it's basically a haunted house that's free. You have just have to sign a waiver and you go in two people at a time and they basically can do all this crazy stuff to you. They can lock you up, put your head in cages, throw blood on you, tw like tape up your mouth, make you eat stuff. Do, and, eat? And, and it lasts from two hours to up to like four hours, depending on how long you're in there. And you cannot leave. No matter how much you scream, fight, you can have a panic attack, anxiety attack. It does not matter. If you have to go to the hospital, then you can leave. But other than that, you're stuck and you have to stay in until it's over. And it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And that's yeah. legal? Yeah. That, well that's <laughs> they sign a legal. waiver. Wow. Yeah, they make you sign a waiver. So basically you're volunteering to do it. It's free. You don't have to pay for no. it. So it's no. like. Whatever happened to no just watching no. horror movies on Netflix? Exactly. Like, it's what? like a psychological thing. No. It's supposed to, by the time, I mean, into 30 minutes you think that it's real. You know, you mm -hmm. basically are like, why? what did I sign up for? I just signed up for my death. Basically, <laughs> like you think yeah. that you're about yeah. to die. And that's the point of it. And I'm like, okay, I love Halloween and like horror stuff, yeah. but that is just taking it to, to a whole nother, whole nother level. level. No way. I worry about people's mental health who sign up to do that. <laughs> Guys, want to go get tortured for four hours? It'll that's be like, really yeah, fun. Yeah. That's 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 <laughs> if you have to sign a waiver to go to anything, <laughs> right. you need to rethink that. Exactly. Yeah. If you have to, exact, what you just said. If you have to sign a waiver, I don't want to do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. It's like, okay, no. if I die, that, if I die. That's the point of me even going to haunted houses because they can't touch you. You know, it's all just a little scary thing. Yeah. They can't put their hands on you. If they do, then they'll get in trouble. But this, they physically, like, grab you, pull you in stuff, lock you up. Like, it's craziness. You said they throw blood on you. Is it real blood or no? Okay. It's not, but it it looks like you don't know. Your eyes are closed. Uh, exactly, you, know. you don't know. Your Who your knows? Exactly. Some don't some know. some freaks out there. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, mm -hmm. like you you won't be able to really utilize all of your senses. So it's like and it's, it's basically torture. And it's happening back to back, so you are your mind doesn't have time to process everything. You just like have stuff being thrown in you, stuff being put in your no. mouth. You're uh, just like uh -uh. yeah, the mouth. No. Yeah. You said they make you eat anything. stuff. Yeah, in the video they like. Which they said was <gasps> dog food. Oh no! Oh no! And they literally, no. you're you're tied up. They force feed you. They make you oh, no. eat it. And I'd rather just pay thirty dollars and go Nashville. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 That's what I'm saying. Just go I'm to like, Nashville. I'd rather just. I like just play. got afraid of. I mean, just got unafraid of the dark not too long ago. So <laughs> <laughs> this is like a Would complete wrap. Like no, no it's way. over with. And you said it's in San Francisco. It's in San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Oh, no. So Somewhere uh, I'm not going. San Diego. Yeah, no. we're never going. Yeah, so. they can't Diego, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, uh, one thing that I was noticing, NTSU had a good haunted house. It happened over in Corlew, called the uh, Town of Terror. I could be wrong Tower about that. Tower of Terror. There you go. I knew it was a W in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, but uh, the Tower of Terror. And did you go? 
No, but I I lived in Cooley last year, so they had it last year. Man, it was really good this year. If you ask me, it was really good. Now I don't get scared; I get surprised. <laughs> <There's a difference. laughs> surprised, surprised. <laughs> he just screams a little bit because he's shocked. But I don't scream; I just yell. There's a difference. <laughs> nah, <laughs> thing is, I mean, I knew that they weren't coming. I mean, they weren't gonna touch me, so I mean, I was surprised. So what made it good? <laughs> I mean, it was very. I mean, the props were good. Um, the thing about it is, you go to, you go, you uh, start off in the beginning, like on the first floor, and they put you in the elevator, take you all the way to the top floor. And every light is shut off. Mm-hmm. Every light. Mm. So you get out the elevator. You no. Complete, you're complete <laughs> darkness. I'm already like, no. The only it's thing you can no. see is like already. the exit signs and like some of the props that they have that are lighting you up. But you're in groups, though. You're not by yourself. Yeah. Team. I mean, it's pretty, well, cool. pretty cool. And you have a lot of things jumping out at you. A lot of people were dressed up like people in, in the purge. I think uh, that's fun. It, it was amazing. As long as they're not touching me or anything, I think that's fun. The line, the line <laughs> was out of Corley. Like, it was wow. that big. People were getting out and coming back to go and do it again. I said if they would have uh, decided to make it, like, where you had to pay for it, they would have made, they made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> if you asked me. Some <laughs> toys. And this is how I saw it. But, you know, we're going on in this Halloween thing. We talked about the costumes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, do, what do you guys think about some good and bad costumes? Um, people could decide. Well, first of all, I saw on BuzzFeed today they just had a sexy Ebola nurse costume. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. A whole bunch of Ebola Which, w- you know, so when male. I think sexy, Ebola comes to mind. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. Right. My girl has to have Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> like wear a sexy hazmat suit. It's like leave it to, especially like advertising companies, especially around Halloween. Like, what's the most unsexy thing we can think about? Put a short shirt on it, sell it for forty nine ninety or something <laughs> like. And people will buy and it. And people yeah. will buy oh it. Yeah. <laughs> like people will actually buy yeah. it. There's like sexy pizza. There's like sexy pineapples. Okay, well pizza what is, is sexy. sexy pineapple? Have, you, have you ever had some good I don't pizza? Know. I want to know right? what that is. <laughs> it's like this little pineapple. short yellow dress with some spikes on it, oh. and then like a green thing on your head, and you say you're a sexy pineapple. I saw. You know what's weird? I saw a sexy <laughs> Olaf today too. From Frozen. Was it sexy? Wow. Was it? It was just like a <laughs> little, you know, like the onesies. Oh it my was goodness. like a onesie with like the little snowman thing on it, and then thigh highs, white thigh highs. And I they like called it sexy. Lot. You want to oh know what I saw today? <laughs> what? It wasn't sexy. It was very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Tampax. <gasps> no. Ew. I don't even I'm going to the stop rest. there. It was a man <laughs> dressed up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> Way too much. Wait, like Where just. Where was he? I saw it on Pinterest. He was dressed as a. <laughs> yes. You'll find we some crazy know. stuff on Pinterest. Yes. Wow. And I was thinking, what in the world has the world come to? <laughs> <laughs> like that's just too much. That's too much. Maybe you'll too find him at that manor place, getting right, all sorts exactly. of. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That'll scare some people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think are some good like good Halloween costumes this year? Like. What are you guys? Are you guys dressing up at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've always been a fan of the Ninja Turtles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, that That's a classic. Good. Ninja yes. Turtles. One thing I noticed is you can get like a pan and like some string and put it on your back and have a shell. Uh, you like <laughs> a trash okay. can. Yeah. 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 Do it yourself. Like do it yourself. Homemade like creativity. Yeah. 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 DIY. Yeah. DIY. That's very good. I mean, it's free. Yes. What are you guys being for Halloween? I'm Why don't I want to be Barbie? That's you want to be Barbie? Be but good. every day is Barbie for you, babe. Come on. Aww. Aww. That's true. I'm going to be me. Okay. <laughs> scary <laughs> right there. That's pretty scary. That's pretty original. <laughs> I'm battling between be being either an Egyptian or Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy, you should do that. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Like so you're not talking about the plant. Poison Ivy, the superhero, right? Yeah, the superhero. Um, <laughs> not like the actual the poison. Superhero, okay. The superhero, the uh, superhero with the red yeah. hair and like <laughs> everything. Oh, all oh that's cool. Yeah, I can see that. So I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to be. Egyptian yeah. Egyptian. I say poison Ivy. A lot of people are talking about being Egyptian. See, that's what yeah. kind of led me away from yeah. it because everybody is like, I don't want to be an Egyptian. Like Shanice, what are you thinking about? Oh. <laughs> 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 well, as of right now. I'm just going to be a CSI agent, <laughs> but <laughs> that's kind of boring, so I'm thinking I'm going to create something, so Ooh. next show, I'll tell you guys what I was. What about you, I'm going to be Kanye West. <laughs> 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 I have a Are you just going to tape a bunch of money on you? No, like? li- okay, guys, it's, it's about to be really dope. Like, I have this 
long green trench coat I'm wearing. You know how he wears that? I'm wearing oh, some combat does. boots, some black Ooh. skinnies. I have a Yeezus shirt I'm going to wear. I'm going to make a Marjola mask. You know those masks okay. he wears? <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to be crafty. So Who's going to be oh, Kim? That's, that's a good cool. idea. I honestly <laughs> wanted my boyfriend to be Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Northwest. Yes, he wanted to be Kim. You be North. <laughs> you be North. How did you react to that? <laughs> he wasn't too happy, but he'll he'll get there. I'm working <laughs> on it. You're going to sedate him and I'll just wake up too. Halloween morning. Two days. <laughs> two, days. two days. We'll get it there. Yeah. That's more than enough time. <laughs> what about you? Are you going to be anything? I don't know. I'm still thinking. I'm not a fan of the whole sexy costume stuff, though. Mm -hmm. I like the goofy oh, big costume. It's See, funny. I think those are the funny ones. Yeah, the funniest ones. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> where are those at? <laughs> ketchup, and ketchup and mustard. That's a good that's couple a good ones. Oh, that's that's pretty cute, it doesn't though. matter. Who's the bun? <laughs> Y'all should exactly. be like Mario and Luigi. Or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Couple costumes are the best, though. I they love are. couple right. costumes. Yeah. I think that is cool. Oh, too. That is cute. You should I be Luigi. <laughs> I'm going to try to pull that off. I'm going to try yeah. to get that. <laughs> Sounds good. So, I mean, all of these costumes going on. <sighs> One thing that I was thinking about is. MTSU has a lot of people who like to explore their options. All right, but one thing that I was saying was like Goodwill decided to do like a sale, you know, t uh, for you to make your own costume out of some of the clothes mm, that they I have. Love me some Goodwill. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna go. <laughs> some some costumes Goodwill. like five bucks, you know, mm. uh, for kids and for some adults too. So that was really good to think about and you know go out and get a costume and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's and where I'm gonna know. go. Just so you're gonna yeah. <laughs> be that yeah. CSI yeah. agent. Yeah. Go. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they have like half off every uh, first Saturday of the month too. Right. So yeah. they they know it's certain uh, colors. So. They definitely have my interest. Uh, jumping speaking of MTSU, uh, next we're gonna talk about the uh, MTSU versus BYU game. Mm. All right, so uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, do my we guys. Have thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> my guy. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty big game because BYU used to be ranked, like yeah. the nation, and people from Brigham Young they're coming to tailgate, so it's gonna be a lot of. And it's yeah. like, um, like the game, like kind of deciding if we're gonna be able to play in a bowl, mm -hmm. so it's a big deal. Wait, is Brigham Young? That's like the Mormon college, yeah. and <gasps> oh, I should bring some sugar for him. That's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> They can turn up with some sugar, yeah, because they never <laughs> turn up with sugar. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> don't you know that's like okay. one of the things Mormons can't like eat? <laughs> oh my goodness! Just bring I a don't bunch don't of coffee and sugar. Mormon. I don't know so much. I don't know. It's a big deal. Are y'all gonna go to the game? I mean, I plan to. Can't if I don't work, I'm gonna. I'm yeah. definitely gonna go or okay. have rehearsal. One thing that I uh, noticed that d isn't BYU on like a four-game losing streak. Oh. That's what that's what I read, and it was like, okay, MTSU, let's do it. You know? Are we yeah. on a winning streak yeah. or something? Well, we, won well, we just came off. Yeah, and we just so. came off our bye week, so we're doing pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were, we're decent. decent. I mean, we're, we're pretty solid. Good. Like <laughs> we're solid. I mean, I like in our in our conference, I think we've only lost one game, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Something like we're that. We're pretty good. <laughs> you know, we're doing we're putting in work out there on the field. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure MTSU got it, but uh, guys. That was all for here. Uh, what we're going to do is, after the commercial break, we're going to have a performance from Najee. So please stay Woo! tuned. Elkhart, Indiana today. Elkhart's a place that has lost jobs faster than anywhere else in America. The people who've lost them have no idea what to do or who to turn to. In fact, local TV stations have started running public service announcements that tell people where to find food banks, even as the food banks don't have enough to meet the demand. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you.
Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. to the doctor. My uncle called, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He called everyone. He even called my daughter, Tierra, because, you know, she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. Time loss is brain loss. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Absolutely. How do I change the ringtone? Just hook it up to your computer. Does it have a camera? What's the warranty? Does it come in silver? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Does it have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack? You sell a lot of these? It's the one I carry. You ever get those phantom vibrations in your pocket? Any questions? No. Are you sure? Welcome back to MT Lounge. Right now we have a guest with us. I'm Najee. How y'all doing? Not glad to be here. All right, let's give it up for Najee. All right. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. What are you going to be doing for us on the show tonight? Uh, I'm going to perform. Uh, I got about two verses and one spoken word that I want to perform. So, what's, what style of music do you? Um, I'm hip hop. Hip hop at its core. I listen to a lot of other things. Have a lot of influences. Uh, influences from rock, R and B. You know, even electronica. You know, I, I listen to everything. I don't limit myself. So who in like particular inspired you to get started? Um, if I had to choose somebody who really gave me that push to like really start writing my own rhymes, I would probably credit that to like Joey Badass or the whole the whole Beast Coast movement, pro era, everything, mm -hmm. Flatbush Zombies, you know. I really enjoy their music. They're the ones who like inspire me to really do my own thing and be creative with what I write. Cool, cool. So how long have you been doing this rap? Uh, I've only been rapping for about two years, and when I came to when I came to school and met Illuminate, shout out to him, uh, he's the one who really inspired me to start performing in front of crowds. Because before, I would just write rhymes in my room and just practice to instrumentals that I would find online. But when I came to school, I was like, all right, it's time to get serious and really give this thing a shot. So uh, you do go to MTSU? Yes, this is my first year. I'm a freshman. I'm a out of state student, by the way. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised. <laughs> so Nelly didn't inspire you at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. He he definitely's got that influence, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Nelly. I Shout like Nelly. Out to Nelly. Yeah, his it, when when uh, the whole St. Lunatic movement started, it was it was pretty hectic in St. Louis. <laughs> was you know, it? It was pretty hectic. Cool. So where can we find your music if we wanna, you know? Uh, that's that's uh that's my only problem. Like right now, I'm not. I haven't really started officially creating my own my own records but i'm gonna start working under illuminate here come okay. next semester and i'm gonna probably release an ep so you're on the come up yeah i'm on the come up all so right. y'all getting raw talent. It's raw talent i'm excited to hear you tonight so after this next commercial we'll be hearing from naji <laughs> what if a disaster strikes without warning what if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Yes, ready, ready. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. 
I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. vertigo. And that's why you couldn't become a pilot and you had to study engineering. You patented 367 inventions, but only three made it to market. The clap clap candle, the lazy runners, and the frit and go. That's why you don't have an apartment on the 16th floor and you have it on the 5th. But that's where you met Carmen. After 237 dates, you finally proposed. With her, you had three children. The fourth ended up being a dog. It's not the same, but he adores you. Numbers change your life. That's why you should take control of your credit score by keeping your credit card balances low. For more tips, visit numberschangeyourlife.org. To climb that hill and get up mountains. Y'all ain't a mountain or nothing. Check your surroundings or something. Make no assumptions because the message is effects. You ain't get it? Renew your membership to Office Max. What I offer is maximum effort like Mexican helpers. I wonder if the government can help us. Are we truly helpless? Powerless to the powers that be. Illuminati can't compare to being enlightened like me. That's true black power. You get the picture, sort of like Spike Lee. Your best author run and write like me. Catch arthritis if I arthritis this because the flow so mean that I could swim in the now downstream. You in denial. You ain't living your dreams. Live in the now, not the past. Gotta get past the negative trials. That's the reason why I left home to search for the right schemes. Then I found rap, now I write schemes, it might seem as if I shouldn't chase a dream like this, but you need a means to live or all life would be meaningless. Let's listen to the world as it speaks, exhale. Trees respond with the messages they preach. Guess the messages they preach in church didn't breach our hearts. Our generation left cold in the dark. The only way to light the way is with the guns we spark and I'm still killing the flow and it's straight from the heart. Food for thought. I got two, oh, I, got, I got two more I wanna kick, I got two more. I said, this is going to be hella tragic. Come if you want it, run up on it. I slay any opponent without warning because I've been a savage. All of your best work is equivalent to my average. I'm the illest in the school. That's why I'm giving them class six. 